Hey everyone, welcome back to Kelsey's Odyssey, and I am here doing another tutorial using the Sewit Studio Basic Edition software. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Friday, happy weekend, and let's just jump right into it. Now, welding letters simply means that where they overlap is going to combine it so you don't see any overlapping lines. For example, <clears throat> let me zoom in for you. You see where this is overlapping right here. Welding, you're not going to see any overlapping. It's going to combine it as if it's one. It's going to link it together. Now, um, let's see, what do I start off with? Okay, so you start off with a text. So you click on text, click on your mat, then click on the right-hand panel so you can see a different variety of text or um, fonts, excuse me. And today I'm going to be using the Segoi, Segoi script. I know I pronounced that completely wrong, but I just wanted to let you know which font I'm going to be using. Now, I've gone through a lot of different fonts, trying to see which one welds together the best or looks the best. And this one is probably one of my top three. Uh, it flows really nicely, and then other ones just don't look right welded. Just leave them as they are. But of course, you're down to do anything that you want to do. And I just started off before I already typed out what I wanted to weld together. Welcome to Mrs. Brown's class. And you'll see later on in the video why I simply picked this. This goes along with another uh, little special I'm going to be showing you uh, later on in the video. So welcome to Mrs. Brown's class. So first thing, once you type up your text, you're going to simply click on it, then right click on group. Ungrouping, as we already know, simply is going to release... Oh no, is it on group? Okay, yes, it ain't on group for some reason. <laughs> it simply is going to release each letter so we can move them and so they can overlap. Now, <clears throat> the only letter that isn't overlapping is the W, but you see here how there's little, um, well, you see the overlaps. So, since this is basically already done, I would just highlight this part, right click, and then weld. Boom, and it's just like simple courtesy as you see, there is no overlapping, it takes it away. Now if you wanted to attach the W, we would simply slide it over until it's overlap. It doesn't even have to overlap a lot, uh, just as long as it overlaps somewhere, even if it's the slightest little overlap, then we would simply highlight the entire welcome and right click weld. It's so, so simple. I think this is probably one of my favorite things to do on here is welding. Um, the same thing with the two. Just slide it over a little and right click weld. And from this, At the tip, I love this S because this reminds me how I, I write in cursive. A little bit sloppy. It's not really. It's a little. It's not really. Um. I don't even know the word that I'm looking for, but <laughs> you guys get the gist of it. And let's do browns now. Brown. This is. So let's see. Drag this. Oh wait, no. Back. Uh, highlight this entire thing. Because this is practically already welded. Well, it's already intersected. I just have to weld it. There we go. And then drag it to the R. <clears throat> and then drag the B. And let's see how I look. Weld. There we go. Because, like I said, not every letter looks good. Well, it all depends. It's up to you guys. You don't have to weld every single letter. But if you want to, you can. And, and honestly, it all depends on, well, for me, it all depends on how it looks. For example, this font is, like I said, this is one of my favorite fonts to weld because it turns out really nice. But like I said, for other fonts, it doesn't really look nice. <clears throat> so we're going to move this exclamation point out of the way. And we already see that the last part, last in class, is already overlapped. So we just have to weld that. And if we wanted to combine the C, just overlap it a little bit 
with the L and then highlight the entire thing and then weld. So simple, easy as one, two, three. And let's change. And I'm gonna highlight the entire thing um, just so you guys can get a visual. So I'm gonna add some color, probably red. Oh, this is really nice, right? There you go, this is how you weld. Oh, and the period. Oh, I guess I'll put that right. And this is how you weld letters. Now you can do the same thing with images. And actually in my next video, I'm going to be uploading, be welding together some invitations I'm working on. I'm doing Sesame Street, Sesame Street theme, um, they're Cookie Monsters invitations. And I have to weld them together. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And I'm also gonna show you how it comes out using my Silhouette Cameo machine, how it prints out, well cuts out, excuse me. So now that we see how to weld letters together, or text. The next thing I wanted to, I've been working on this, um, I've been working on this next part for quite some time, but not, not quite some time, but probably the past two days, trying to perfect it the best way I can so I can show you guys how to do it. I'm simply, let me see if I can word this right. I am going to make, form a text in the shape of an object. So whatever I type up, form it in the shape of an object. So the object is gonna look like the text that I typed up. So the reason why I put welcome to Mrs. Brown's class is because I decided since school is right around the corner, uh, teachers is almost, well here, school starts in another um, like three and a half weeks. So I decided why not do a teacher theme? So, <laughs> excuse me, I'm basically gonna use brown well the teacher's last name brown and i'm going to make it or form it in this apple shape form if that makes sense if not i apologize for, i know i'm explaining it bad because i this took me so long to do i could barely explain it myself but i definitely know how to do it so i'm basically going to take the text brown and form it in the shape of an apple basically yeah basically explains it so what I am going to do first is I uploaded an image of an apple from my library. So then you're going to trace it, select trace area, highlight the entire apple, turn up your threshold until everything is covered in yellow, and then hit trace. Okay. So we're going to right click on this apple release compound path and we're going to remove this stem. Move it to the side for now. Um, I strongly recommend duplicating your apple because I mess up so much on this and it's really annoying to having to go back and trace. So I duplicated probably a good three times, third times the charm. I believe I can do it by end. So we don't need this apple, delete. And <clears throat> So like I said, we're gonna use the word brown. Let's type it up in all caps, bring it back down here. Uh, I want this, click over here to your, I want this in impact. I think impact look best using this. Uh, like I said, I've gone through plenty of fonts and impact suits it best. So this is our apple. Let's line it up on the lines. Now we're gonna take brown and we're gonna drag it, like center it first. And we're gonna drag it to the corners of the apple. So basically we're gonna try to, um, we're gonna try to um, drag this text beyond the outline of the apple, but not too far off. Just so we can get the shape of the apple in the text. Let me zoom in. Okay, let me exit out of this. All right, so let's drag it down here too. <clears throat> oh, yeah, don't go too far because it's really not gonna look right. 
Okay. Move it out some. Actually, no. Um, yeah, we can leave it right here on this line. Just gotta drag it up some more till we reach to every single letter hits the tip of the apple in each corner. Okay. <clears throat> now has each one hit it? Mm, okay. So, so far, the B is way off of the outline compared to the other shapes. So, I mean, excuse me, the other letters. So what we're gonna do is right click We'll click on the whole thing, right click, um, ungroup, because we want to fix this B up and drag it in some, probably like around about here. No, we get it about here. Oh no, to that line. It's the R sign. We're gonna drag down the R till the end of the apple. Move this O down. And let's see. Gold about here. Move this W. Actually, we could have left it where we got. Just drag it down. The reason why I say drag it down to at least the, um, the outer line is so when it's time to crop it, it forms these little curves within the text. Oh, I guess this panel, I swear. And with this end, it's way off. So we're gonna make it smaller. Again, the letters are not supposed to be the same size, of course. Ooh. Let's see, maybe, maybe D. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe make the end a little bit wider. Or not. Yeah, we can make the end a little bit wider. Okay. There we go. I think this looks just about good. But we will see once we crop it. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Now let me zoom out. So once you, well, let me zoom back in actually. So once you uh, drag your letters down to the outline of your shape, you want to highlight this entire thing, the shape and the, the letters. Go to object, modify, then crop. See, and it kind of did a new shape of an apple. Um, and remember I said make a duplicate of your outline, this is why. That way when we line it up, we can see what needs to be fixed or possibly nothing needs to be fixed. Hmm. What we're gonna do is, okay, how about this? Let me color this in red just so I can have a better visual. Cause sometimes with the transparent, I can't even tell what's what. Okay. So line it up. All right. My whole point is that you can tell that this says brown and it says, and it goes perfectly. Now with my end, I wanna make this part curve a little, so I'm gonna Double click on it until you get the point editing. And I'm just gonna slant this. That's all I'm going to do. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. No, actually I'm gonna leave it just like that. Just like that. Actually, this came out perfectly. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna leave the end just like that because once I slant it, it kinda looks like a different letter. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Mm. Nice. Okay. 
So now that I have, I wouldn't change anything. So I'm gonna highlight this entire word and group it. And then I'm going to add my outline of the apple to this. Line it up. It was aligned up pretty well. And there we are. Let me zoom out. And we're going to group. And don't forget about your stem. Just place that at the top. All right, let me zoom out. This is going to be brown. Bring up my color palette. Uh, I just could be a background. Bring my off note. Let's grab this and line it up. And this is going to be green. Oh, I didn't click on it. Okay. See? And there you go. Now I'm going to highlight this entire image group so our leaf and stem can be apart and there you go now the reason why i put the outline of the apple back around brown is because when we send this to the printer oh uh, don't forget your registration marks huh. always forget about that for some reason okay <laughs> because when we uh cut this out or once this little cameo cuts it out we wanted to cut out the outline of this apple not the individual letters. So on how to do that, once we, you know, print it out, I simply go to the send. Sorry, I didn't mean to go to the store. Oh. Come on. Now why isn't it? Okay, hold on. Okay. I don't know why it does that, but it's set to cut, and we do not want that. We want to cut edge. That way, I'm just going to cut the edge of the apple. See how cute this is for someone's oh, for teacher's first day of class? I think this is so cute. Now, let me see if I would change anything. No, I wouldn't. Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial. I'm sorry if I talked to you guys ear off, but I just want to make sure. I hope I fully, I know I didn't really explain it too well. But if you have any questions or you have any comments, please, please, please um, put them. Um, please submit them. <laughs> I'm just at a loss for words right now. But yes. So next tutorial will simply be, like I said, working on the Cookie Monster imitations using welding as well. And... That is all for tonight's tutorial. See you guys later. Bye.